collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Deluxe Radioactive Man from Jack Specific 5-inch line of Simpsons action figures. Uh, I just got this from Amazon today. I don't know if these are going to be sold in stores or not. There's a small handful of 5-inch Deluxe action figures. They kind of have their normal 5-inch line going, uh, which I've already done reviews for Bart and Bartman. I do have the rest of Wave 1. I'll be getting to that soon, uh, but this just got here today. And I was just excited to check it out, so it kind of jumped the line. Uh, but there are two other deluxe ones. There's like a green Homer, Homer with green paint on him that he like has action features to like break down a fence. And then there is a Dracula Mr. Burns from the Treehouse of Horror, which is pretty cool. But uh, I don't know if those were in stock. Either way, I decided to just check out Radioactive Man for now. So you can see the action figure here in the front, but he's also got like a display stand in the back. He does have a light up chest, which is pretty cool. Over here, you can see a nice picture of the figure itself. And then over here, you have some nice artwork of Radioactive Man from the show. Not really much going on down here except some warnings and whatnot. Uh, just says Radioactive Man there on the top. And if we spin it around, you can see here is Radioactive Man kind of clipped into the backdrop that is included. So we'll check all of that out, of course. But yeah, pretty decent packaging. I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of the box and we'll take a closer look. So here is Radioactive Man plus his display stand out of the packaging. Of course, we'll take a look at Radioactive Man first. I think he looks pretty good. I think the head sculpt and everything looks really nice. I think they did a great job there. Uh, the head can swivel from side to side. It does not feel like it's on a ball joint. I don't think it moves any more than just side to side, but I'm okay with that. Uh, you have a hinge here at the shoulder as well as a rotation. You have a bicep swivel like so. You have an elbow bend. Now, I don't believe it almost feels like there should be a swivel at the elbow as well because it almost kind of feels like it, but it doesn't seem to want to move, and I really don't want to break it. And I have the bicep swivel, so I don't really need it. Uh, you do have a wrist rotation as well as a hinge. There is a small hinge there, so you can bend the arm, or I should say the wrist, a little bit back and forth. Uh, nothing in the waist, but that's because when you hit this little uh, center of his belt buckle... You get the glowing chest, which I think looks pretty cool. I think that's a neat little feature. You can see it glowing there. Uh, if you don't want to turn that on by accident, you can actually come around to the back and there is an on and off switch. It's a little hard to see and I can't move the cape too much, uh, but it is right there. If you can see that as well as the battery compartment in case you ever have to change it. It does take little watch batteries, so I can flip that off like so. And then if I hit the button, it will not turn on. So just in case you don't want to turn it on by accident, you can absolutely turn it off. Uh, you do have a ball joint here in the hip, which you get decent amount of motion, maybe 45 degree angle uh, out to the side. Kick a little far forward, kind of has a butt flap so you can't really go too far back. Doesn't have a thigh swivel. Uh, you can kind of move you know, the ball joint around to get a little bit of a thigh swivel type movement there with the way the ball joint for the hip is done. You have 90 degrees there at the knee. It almost, again, feels like there should be movement, but I really don't want to break it, and so I'm just going to say it has a 90 degree uh, bend at the knee, and then you have kind of a limited ball joint at the ankle. So honestly, I think the articulation is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think the figure looks good. I'm happy with it. I think the light up feature works well. Uh, yeah, just a cool five inch Simpsons figure there. Now in terms of the uh, backdrop here, it's obviously made to look like the first issue of Radioactive Man, which I think is kind of cool. You have this kind of blown out plastic here for the, you know, nuclear explosion, as well as a big sticker back here. All of this comes pre-applied, you don't have to do anything with that. Uh, you have a little peg here, so if you don't want to use the flight stand, which we'll get into in a moment, uh, he does have holes on the bottom of his feet, and you can just peg him in there. So if you just want him to stand like that, which I think looks really good. You can absolutely do that. Or if you like, move him out of the way for a moment. You do get this cool little flight stand. It's fairly basic, but it's got some pretty good ratcheting at these two locations. Uh, you can't move the like part that's supposed to go around his waist at all. And so I do worry about over time that breaking, but we'll see how it goes. The other thing is, and I don't know if I'll be able to show this because of how ridiculously small it is, you can see that one side is straight across there while the rest of it is circular. And you will need to know 
see how the peg there so you have to line that up you can only insert it one way but once you do it pops in very simply and it's also uh, removed very simply so it's not like once you pop it in you're stuck with it and i think it holds pretty well which is nice and then you can just kind of bend this up a little bit and bend this a little bit and then you just have to kind of come around the cape here move the arms out of the way i kind of like to come in from the side like this and then kind of swivel it like that so you will have to get the cape over the arm um let me click this up one more time but it holds them pretty well honestly i think that works really nicely you can kind of you know bend the leg to give him kind of a flight pose something like this you can put the arms up if you want to pretend he's flying something like this like that so i think that's kind of cool i like that option i think it works well you know it holds him pretty decently the ratchets hold nicely you know it's a rubber cape and i believe it's kind of attached into the chest so you can't really remove it at least i don't think you can and i kind of don't want to try because i feel like if i do it'll loosen it but it's pliable enough that if you had to get to that battery compartment or the on and off switch it's not too bad but yeah i think that's kind of cool i mean i kind of like just attaching him with the peg but i do think the flight stand is a cool idea and it definitely gives you options and so i think that's pretty neat now these are $24.99 the deluxe figures and a normal 5 inch figure from this line is I think $12.99 so it is almost double uh, but you are getting the light up feature, the batteries are included and you're getting the display stand so I feel like it's pretty fair and honestly I think this is really cool and I think it's neat that you know they've kind of done the first wave with Homer, Bart and then we had Groundskeeper Willie and Otto and now we're doing Radioactive Man. So, I mean, they're kind of spacing out, like, the main family members because it would be very easy to just say, okay, let's just do the first wave as the family. And then people might get a little bored right away. <laughs> but I think it's neat that they're kind of pulling into these Fringer characters to start to keep it interesting. I mean, there's so many characters from this show that they could honestly go for a long time. And I hope they do. I think this is really cool. I think this is a nice, affordable line so far. The 5 inch action figures I think look great. I'm also a fan of the 2.5 inch figure line. Um, I've got videos of all that stuff up if you're interested. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. I think it's a nice affordable way to collect Simpsons figures. You know, you're looking at 13, maybe 25 for a deluxe figure. Not going to break the bank. They're not like Super 7 Ultimates or anything like that where you're paying $60 a figure or something like that. So I think this is really cool. I like this a lot. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get the other two, honestly. I'm kind of tempted by the uh, Dracula Mr. Burns, because that's a really classic episode, Treehouse of Horror. I don't really... I'd have to rewatch the show, but I don't remember the time Homer gets green paint on him and acts like the Hulk. I'm sure it happened, I just don't remember it. Don't have the strongest connection to that. But I just thought this Radioactive Man looked really cool, and I decided to give it a shot, and I'm glad I did. I think it's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, if you're a fan of The Simpsons and you're enjoying this line, I definitely think this is one to check out. Now, I did just check, and for whatever reason, the page for this on Amazon is gone. You go, I tried to go back into my orders and look at it, and it says, sorry, we can't find the page, but the other two are still available. So, I don't know. I don't know if they put this up too early, or they weren't supposed to sell it yet, or what, but the page for Radioactive Man is gone. The other two are still available, so... Uh, also the first wave is available. Amazon has a lot of the stuff, so definitely check it out. I've also seen them at Target, Walmart, things like that. For whatever reason, I have not seen the 2.5 inch figures at Walmart. I don't know if they're Target exclusive, but I've seen the other 5 inch figures uh, lots of places. So definitely check around if you're looking for them. But yeah, this guy's pretty cool. I definitely recommend checking him out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.